Hello, I'm Ritson Ferguson, CEO and Co-Chief Investment Officer of CBRE Clarion Securities with an update on real estate securities performance for the first half of 2015. Despite a strong start to the year, real estate stocks delivered negative returns in the second quarter despite strong real estate fundamentals. In the Asia-Pacific region, real estate stocks were down a modest 1.4% and are still positive 3% year-to-date. But in Europe and the Americas, real estate stocks declined more sharply. In Europe, real estate stocks were down almost 8% as investor concerns about the situation in Greece escalated and the possibility of a Greek exit from the European Union. In the Americas, real estate stocks in the U.S. fell by over 10% as investors are increasingly concerned about the possibility of rising interest rates by the Federal Reserve Board in the third quarter. The pullback in the second quarter has created a buying opportunity. Listed real estate companies are trading at an 11% discount to the value of the real estate they own as valued by private equity investors. Interestingly, during the quarter we also saw a significant increase in the amount of capital raised by private equity real estate funds to $250 billion. That represents an increase of almost $70 billion versus this time last year. Also in the second quarter we saw a pickup in the number of merger and acquisition deals announced. At the beginning of the quarter, Blackstone announced that it was taking Shopping Center REIT XL private for a transaction worth almost $2 billion. And at the end of the quarter, Lone Star announced that they would be taking Home Property Group, an apartment REIT, private for a transaction valued at almost $8 billion. Despite the negative performance in the second quarter, we think the outlook for real estate stock returns for the balance of the year is quite good. Fundamentals are improving. Yields for real estate stocks are also quite attractive, averaging 3.5% now and ranging from 3% in the UK to 6% in Canada. Also, the earnings growth prospects are improving. In 2015, the overall earnings growth rate remains at 6.5, but we've been increasing our earnings growth estimates in markets like the US, the UK, and Australia. And as we look forward into 2016, our earnings growth estimates have increased to 7.1%, up from 6.7% at the beginning of the year. We believe this is an environment which creates opportunities for active management. With the variety of earnings growth rates around the world by country, and also with different monetary policy from central bankers around the world, there is a wide variety of situations to choose from. Here in the U.S., for instance, where the Federal Reserve is likely to increase interest rates later this year, we favor property types with higher earnings growth rates tied to an improving economy. In Europe and in Japan, where the central bankers are being accommodative with monetary policy, we see an opportunity to benefit from lower cap rates and improving property values. We view the property cycle as still having several years to run. This pullback in the second quarter has created a buying opportunity, an entry point for investors with the longer term view in mind.